Hi there guys, this screencast is supposed to uh, help you with uh, implementing the contact form that is being described and um, actually explained in this post which is called how to create an HTML PHP contact form basically out of your contact form uh, and I'm creating this screencast for those of you who prefer uh, video content to a textual one so it's gonna be the same content but just video format so if you like videos more get in so first off, in order to create a contact form, you need to make sure that you have some sort of uh, HTML, PHP software um, installed, editor actually installed on your uh, computer. So it can be uh, Dreamweaver, Notepad++, whatever, you name it, there are lots of them. So I'm sure you'll be able to um, actually uh, search, uh, and, uh, search in Google and locate something that works for you. Now, um, I'm going to use uh, Dreamweaver, and here it is. On the left hand side is going to be uh, the code uh, the code mode and on the left hand on the right hand side you're gonna see the the actual design of the contact form and uh, the text fields that I'm gonna create now um, what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna copy the uh, the chunks of code from here and explain what exactly they do and why uh, and what for you need them so first off um, you need to create your um, HTML document and I'm gonna just copy and paste uh, the first chunk of, chunk of code I'm gonna go to my Dreamweaver and just paste what I've just copied just like that okay so it's just um, creating a new HTML code uh, an HTML file and it's setting the title for your HTML file which is gonna be HTML PHP contact form by webdesign.com and it's our website by the way now I'm gonna create a contact form and the code for the contact form should go between the uh, opening body and uh, closing body tags so this one and this one so the actual uh, actually this one and so uh, the actual code should go right here line 9 so I'm going back to the site and copying the next piece of code okay and pasting right between the opening body and the closing body tags right here okay so now what does that uh, code make and by the way if I go to the live mode just like that you're gonna see that it creates uh, actually this code that I've just uh, uh, pasted creates this um, dashed red outline for our contact form so that means that uh, within this uh, area this uh, rectangle we're gonna put our contact form and actually form for the contact form now <clears throat> a little bit more about uh, what we have in the actual code here first off this is the opening form tag which uh, tells the the browser uh, or in our case the editor that this is the beginning of the uh, of the form and the closing form tag that tells the browser that that's the end of the form now we have some extra some additional parameters here and a little bit more about them now the name uh, tag actually gives uh, uh, this form a name and you're gonna need it if you wanna use some JavaScript for uh, for your form for now I'm just gonna ignore it and you can ignore it now uh, the action um, tag uh, the action attribute uh, specifies uh, where exactly the info from your contact form will go to what file to so it's gonna be sendmail.php and we're gonna create it later for now just just memorize that it's uh, uh, the name of our future PHP file and the last attribute is a method and uh, the value for this for this um, attribute is post and it's recommended to use the post method for any sensitive uh, sort of data so this is how you can create a, a frame for your form now let's add the actual text fields uh, and other items to our uh, form so I'm going back to uh, the site and I'm copying this uh, code snippet just like that going back to the editor and between the opening and closing form tags I'm, an, I'm just pasting what I've just copied paste 
and now let's see what this code does. First of all, as you can see, we just uh, specified the name for the text field actually. And if, we cl if you click on the um, on the uh, right hand panel, it's gonna show the uh, the name here. And by the way, I missed the uh, closing sign here, and it's okay now. Okay, so um, this is the name of the um, of the text field. So it's uh, right here. It's uh, in design mode, and in the code mode, it's right here. So if you uh, just highlight it in your uh, design mode, it's going to get highlighted in your code mode as well. And it's very uh, convenient, as a matter of fact. Now, as you can see, we don't just uh, write name, right? We also enclose it in uh, the label tag, the opening label tag and the closing label tag. And uh, we also specify the for uh, attribute, which is a very interesting one. So let's see what it does. Uh, let's uh, actually see how it works without um, these uh, tags. So I'm just deleting them. And uh, I'm going to live mode, clicking here, live. Okay, so when I click on the name, um, um, on, on the word name, right, nothing happens. I mean, the word itself, like, just, just does nothing, right? But if I'm if I'm uh, getting those codes back, I mean the label tags, uh, the opening label tag and the closing label tag, and the uh, four attribute within the opening label of the label tag. Let's see how it's gonna work now. I'm going to the live mode, and now when I click on the name, bang! You see, uh, the text field actually gets highlighted, and this way the user when he or she clicks on the name, uh, we'll just know that uh, he uh, or she is supposed to input something right here. That's very convenient. Now, let's move on. On line 11, we have the uh, the code for the actual text field where we should input the name in the, in the contact form, and it has the actual input tag. Then it specifies what kind of what type of input it is, and it is uh, text, so it's just a text field. It also has an ID tag, which is the same, actually the value for this ID tag is the same as the value for our uh, label tag, actually for the attribute of the label tag. So if you use the same value here and here in the ID attribute, um, the label uh, tag will know which uh, text field or actually which item to highlight when someone clicks on uh, on the, the name word. Okay, and that's actually how it works. And the last attribute that is in the um, input, um, uh, that is in the uh, text field code, this one, is name. And the value for it is sender underscore name. So uh, this um, value will be uh, uh, turned into, um, into a variable in your uh, PHP uh, code, but we're gonna talk about it later. Just You just need to know that uh, you have to specify uh, your name uh, attribute, and the value for the attribute should be unique. Yeah, and by the way, in order to place our items one under another, we're gonna add the uh, br slash tag, so that each item is um, is on its own line. Okay, let's move on.